welcome to uh, Mitosis Meiosis Biology Lab. I've never done this before, and I've been messing with the camera for like an hour and a half. So anyway, let's see if this one's going to work. So if you remember from class, we learned about mitosis, like that's the division of cells to make body cells. You can remember that by mitoses, and that's part of your body. And then there's meiosis. And that's like, my, oh, my, oh, my, because we're talking about sex cells. Okay, making body cells, mitosis, making sex cells, meiosis. Okay, both of them have an interphase, and there's three phases to interphase, G1, S, and G2. G1 is growth, over it, where the cell gets bit, bigger, makes some proteins, extra stuff. S is the phase, I guess I could write that down for you. G1, S. And G2, growth, synthesis is making copies, and G2 is making extra proteins, getting ready to divide. Okay, um, so mitosis is made up of four phases after interphase. You got mitosis, then you got prophase, metaphase, antiphase, telophase, and that's, you can remember that by P-M-A-T, P-M-A-T. And when I was learning this a long time ago, years ago, Many years ago, I had a puppy that I was potty training, and I remembered this because I was trying to get him to pee on the mat. It's the silly way to remember. Okay, and then when you do meiosis, we got PMAT1 and PMAT2. So we go through two phases of uh, di divisions with meiosis. Okay, I'm running my own camera, so I'll be back. Okay, here we go. So um, you can use anything that you have at your house, um, but they need to be pairs. So um, some people use earrings, some people use, I've seen use them in their heads. I was, <laughs> I've seen everything. Okay, so this, what you do is you're going to create some chromosomes, and I just got beads because I work here. But you can do whatever you want. Now what you need to do is make Make sure they are identical on each side, unlike these. Same at the top and same at the bottom. And here's another chromosome. And here's another one. And here's another one. But they don't see how they don't match, so we, they gotta match. Because they are homologous chromosomes. One, two, three. Okay. So, you know that in your body, every cell of your body, you have 23 pairs of chromosomes, or 46 total. So, you, and each one's, when I say pairs, they're called homologous chromosomes, because one came from your mom, and one came from your dad. Uh, hers came in through the egg, and dad's came in through the sperm. And you have, uh, so you have 23 of these kind of pairs. And your mama's red hair might be on this one, and her blue eyes, and your dad's brown hair and brown eyes. And so, um, and whichever one is dominant is the one that shows up. Uh, and we'll learn more about that next week. So, we're going to get, these are called homologous chromosomes. And here's two more, two, two more pairs. And we're going to only use, use four to keep it simple. Now, to keep it also simple is we're going to call them, instead of saying homologous chromosomes every time, we're going to call them homies because they're pairs. So, these are two, the two homies and these two are homies or homologous chromosomes. All right. Now I'm going to demonstrate, uh, I hope you can see this, we're going to demonstrate um, mitosis first. So it all starts off, they don't have their copies, they're identical sister chromatids. They don't have their little two legs, they're only single strands to start with. So, and they're all inside the nucleus. And that's a nuclear envelope. Okay. Now, we go through that G1 was growth, and so we're going to make some extra proteins and, you know, organelles, getting ready to divide. And then, um, S. Now, that's synthesis. And see, these are magnetic. They're not supposed to be stuck together. State. So, we've got to go through S or uh, synthesis, synthesis, so we make copies. Making copies. So, here we go. Making the copies. Now, they got two. They've got their sister chromatid legs on them. Now, and then G2, it's all in the nucleus, and G2, making extra proteins, making organelles, getting ready to divide into two cells, which is the goal here. So now, we're done interphase. That's interphase. 
in mitosis. Now we're going to go into PMAT. P is prophase. Nuclear envelope breaks apart and chromosomes condense. Now, that's prophase. Metaphase, everybody, all the chromosomes line up end to end in the middle. That's metaphase in the middle to help you remember. Now, you're not really supposed to be out of here, but we're, there's not enough room. So now, anaphase. Now, since these are identical copies, when we made those copies, they were identical copies. So, the, um, so their names, since they're identical twins, their mom didn't have a lot of imagination, so they just called them both Anna. So this is anaphase. Bye, Anna. Sister chromatids separate. Bye, Anna. Bye, Anna. Bye. Bye, Anna. Bye. Okay. Now they get to the pole and they unwind and the nuclear envelope is reformed. Now we have two, two new nuclei with identical information just like the original. There's nothing changed. They're exactly the same. Chromosome counts still four and the information is exactly the same. We have one last thing that happens. It's called cytokinesis where nuclear, uh, I'm sorry, where the uh, cytoplasm reforms around two new cells and this is a big opening here so we got two new daughter cells identical genetic information same chromosome count everything's the same okay okay here we are back again and we're going to do my oh my oh my osis making sex cells egg and sperm so you start off again with your with your uh, full set of chromosomes known as diploid, D-I-P-L-O-I-D, diploid. And you got your homies without their copies, just like we did last time. And this is happening in your ovaries or your testes, testicles, or your ovaries. All right, so they're all here. We have S1, G1, same as the interface, G1 when you're making proteins and and um, getting ready to split. And then S, which is the um, synthesis or making copies. So we can add their little identical copies. Boop. Here it goes. Boop. And there we go. Whoops. So now we go to uh, G2, which is making extra organelles, proteins, getting ready to make the new, the new cell. Okay. Now we go through pro, uh, PMAT1 and PMAT2. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase 1. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase 2. But during, just like in, uh, in mitosis, during prophase, the nuclear envelope breaks apart. Okay, that's the same. But that's about it. Chromosomes condense. But in meiosis, we have this great big shuffling of genes that goes on called crossing over. And so the homies snap together, and that's called synapsis. And then they snap together. And then they do this really strange thing where they exchange genetic material. And it's not, it has to be exact. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's not just all willy-nilly, big shuffling like you would cards. It's very specific. Eyes for eyes, hair for hair, things like that. Uh, characteristics. So now they've done this synaps synapsis and they've crossed over, exchanging genetic material. That means that every single sperm, your entire life, if you're a guy, that you make, each one will be unique due to several factors, but this is one of them. Crossing over. Okay, metaphase one. Now look, the homies don't, they, they don't um, pull apart here. So they stay together and they go turn out to the middle. That's metaphase in the middle, metaphase one. And because the sisters aren't pulling apart, the sisters staying together, it's the homies pulling apart. We say bye homie in anaphase one. Bye homie, bye homie. Now look what we just did to that chromosome count. These get to over here to the poles in telophase one. Nuclear envelope reforms, cytokinesis, 
But check it out. Now we just cut that chromosome number in half, and now these are now, um, they're called haploid. Now that's important because you need a half, if you have a sperm and an egg, and the sperm's got 23 chromosomes, and the egg's got 23, when they get together, they'll have a full deck of 46. So you've got to cut that chromosome uh, number in half, and we just did that during um, meiosis one. So now we've got to get the sisters apart. So this is real similar to mitosis. So uh, prophase one, nuclear envelope breaks apart. We've got two cells to work out with now. Metabase in the middle. Metabase two. And then by Anna, because the sisters are separating now. So now this is anaphase two by Anna. They reach the poles. I've got a lot of chromosomes here. We've got two cells going on. And we get to the poles. Nuclear envelope reforms cytokinesis again. This is just like mitosis. Now we end up with four haploid daughter cells. I don't know why they call them daughter cells, but that's what they're called. Four haploid daughter cells, each one unique. And which way they go this way, and which way they go this way, and all that shuffles and, and makes each uh, the diversity huge. So you can ne you will never have the same genetics in your sperm or your eggs your whole life. Pretty amazing. Put a tail on each one of these, and what do you got? Four sperm. If you or if you're a female, you have three. Whoops! You will have three. Uh, uh, these become what are called polar bodies. It kind of gets stuck on the side. And then you have one that's like the it egg. The one that gets to be the baby if it's fertilized. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Okay. Bye. Okay, how did I do this? Where's my directions?